This is like the equivalent of them taking us on the conjo. <laughs> Okay, so I'm slowly dying from food poisoning, but now we're trying to figure out the puzzle of how to get this hood out of this Voltex box. Because we're gonna just put the knife that was just in my hand. Mm, oh, right here. Every damn day. <laughs> yeah, so we are lucky enough to be the owner of the first Voltex hood for the GR86 in America. Immediately upon filming, the battery died on the GoPro, so I'm gonna switch over to my phone. It should work just as well. You gotta pop the staple off? Okay. Yeah, just on the side. Oh. Just for, uh, not all the way down, because we're gonna flip the top open, right? Yeah. Wait, no, never mind. It has to be all the way through. You're gonna have enough room to lay it down. Damn. Still can't get it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess maybe now just cut the entire take the entire box off. I don't think we're gonna be able to save this box. Yeah, that's not, this is a good box too. Mm -hmm. I wanted to save it. Um, yeah. I guess if I slid it here, cause this is what was stopping us, it was taped here also. Yeah. It was stopping us from opening it like a- Like a Famima chicken. Chicken, yeah. Dude, this hit's kind of sick. Yeah, right? I didn't remember how, I didn't remember, I don't remember these vents being that big in person. I didn't think they would be that deep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's sick. Some deep ass vent, boy. This is deep enough for them to see the HKS oil filter. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's turned around. Yeah. <laughs> HKS, please redesign your oil filter. Yeah. It's printed, so when you tighten it, it you, the logo you should make it so that you put the label on it afterwards. Or just logos like all around it. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah. Look at that. That's nice. It's pretty light, too, for being wet carbon. Very light. Let me see. Hi. Oh, look at the bottom here. The core looks interesting. So... Is it core? Oh no, it's carbon. So this is carbon. They just, they didn't even lay, uh, they didn't even add fiberglass to this. Mm -mm. That's nice. Yep. This feels like pretty damn dry too. Very dry, yes. Very dry than my legs. Very strange. Leaky. <laughs> it's like they just sucked all the resin out and didn't add anything on top of it. And there's no peel ply on it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Wow. That's very, that's why it's so light. Yeah. Uh, see a venting out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So nice. Just gigantic box. So I guess if I didn't tell anybody, we have the first Voltex white body kit in the U.S. Thanks to Evasive, they kind of gave us a pretty good deal on it that we couldn't really pass up. Keep, keep that there without removing it. Yeah. Because we just need a diffuser now. Wherever it is. It must be on the very bottom. Yeah. What if it's not included in the wide body because it's sold separately? <laughs> Could be. Yeah, we're not going to get it. None of this looks very It's very possible, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like... What are the brackets for the diffuser then if there's no diffuser? Maybe it wasn't brackets for the diffuser. Maybe it was just brackets for the front bumper lip. Oh. Mm. Is that I don't know. Oh, side so piece? Oh. Oh yeah, because it's multi-piece. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have a diffuser. Okay, I'm looking at a bumper, right? Yeah, it has definitely <laughs> a bumper. It has some little splitted diffusers on it. I'm gonna lift it up and you look underneath. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> so we're just installing the hood. Yeah. Right, well, the, uh, well that saves some time. <laughs> so, but we have to buy a diffuser. Yeah. But I thought there was another <laughs> add-on. Make bad sounds. Oh, uh, I think that might be. So is this a diffuser? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Voltex diffuser was more like. No, I thought the Voltex diffuser was like a, like a full. Okay, uh, so as it turns out, that was the rear diffuser. It's so good. It's. Yeah, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's just a rear. Let's just call it a rear thing. <laughs> yeah, basically. 
I mean, it's probably better because if it was any bigger, it'd probably just rip right off the car when we drive it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely the diffuser. That should be pretty easy to mount then. Yeah. Maybe that bracket isn't for the diffuser then, because it doesn't, yeah. I feel like it doesn't even need yeah, it. Yeah, well, why would this need a bracket? I feel like this thing might just pop in with the plastic clips. Right? Plastic clips, clips and two screws. And there's definitely no instructions attached to it. Yeah, that's just having to put the bottom here. Uh, where's the hardware for it though? Box, uh, oh, maybe it's in the. Yeah, it might be in that bag. Well, I didn't see one that was labeled the fuser, but I mean, I have plenty of new hardware. So even though we have the kit, we're gonna save it for another time, just because the show is in uh, tomorrow. So yeah, we're not gonna time. attempt to put a kit on right now. It's not even painted or anything, yeah. and it's gonna be a, like a long-term project because it doesn't seem like it's that simple of a job to it's cut the gotta, car. It's gotta cut the car as well. But it's like Voltex quality, so everything should fit pretty well. Which is finding the time to do it. Yeah. Look at this leaf on here. It's so textured. It's because it's wet. Ooh, look at all that. Oh, she wet. What? <laughs> you demonetize her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your account has been flagged for yeah. content. Because someone said she <laughs> wet on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Joey, can you hand us a bolt on that? Okay. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah. It's really tight. Your side tight? Um, super tight back here. Okay, finish. Yeah, move it forward. Mm -hmm. Um, it lines up right here. It lines up back towards the back, right? How much movement we got? That's not all. It really doesn't move. Oh, it lines up perfectly in the front too. It's yeah? actually pretty solid. It's just a little off right here, but we might be able. To... Dude, this is so tight right here. It's like sixteenth of an inch. Like middle and a half. Oh yeah, it's quite spicy. Oh my god, that is so tight. Damn, that's nice. <laughs> just don't look at the other side. Oh. Yeah. That side has more than that. Yeah, I can move yeah. it a little bit. See, you can't see the HK has all the filter, dude. Okay. Oh, shit. You're going to loosen it for the show so the logo goes forward. <laughs> and then just forget and drive away. <laughs> it's all hands on deck at the moment. Taking off the side skirts and front lip because ours has rock chips on it. So we decided to just paint another set and install a brand new kit on there. And then we gotta install the rear diffuser later that's gonna go right here. It should add to the overall look of the car. So we're pretty good for a week fest. I don't even need a motor trend subscription. I got Super Street Garage right here. <laughs> this is just, this is just free right here. <laughs> it's a busy night here. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Gonna give it a wash. Brand new Voltex hood. Here. It's a cool display. 
Well, just set it up right now. Wait, you want to go? Can I adjust it? Yeah, I'm going to adjust it. Okay. Not bad. First. Cars. I think they're all police officers too. Whoa, look at Tomcats. Hey, the back seat is a straight flex. Yeah. Ooh. All right, all right. The Arizona play with no smog is a real flex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't handle it. Yeah, man. My stomach's fucking turning right now. Shit. Don't be drinking that shit, dude. Public service announcement. I need to get through the day somehow. Well, thank you. Yeah, we gotta eat no people. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this one time. Don't forget to air up. Air up. Me? I gotta air up too. Time. I'm after rolling. Got some Italian food from Sunday Gravy. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's gonna be a long night. What's up, everybody? It's been a while. I was actually trying to film a lot more for Week Fest LA, but I ended up getting really sick a few days before that, leading up to the event. So, got food poisoning, a little bit of a kidney infection. Got the works, but down for about a week. But now it's the following weekend. A couple of big events this weekend. We have something going on at Honda. There's a big uh, American Honda collection opening. So we're gonna go check that out. Honda sent out the invite, so we gotta go stop by that in the morning. And then the following day, we have a Chronicles meet here at the shop because Yasu is here from Japan and our friend Ryuji from No Good Racing is also here. So, decided to throw them a meet, just get everybody together. It's been a while since we had a meet at the shop anyway, so we might as well just have a gathering over here and have everybody meet the Japaneses and, you know, kind of close out summer, head into fall with some fun times, you know? So, feeling a lot better now. It's nice to be alive again. Here we go. The Honda thing that we're going to is actually early in the morning. It's like a cars and coffee thing. But for whatever reason, Chewie decided that he wanted to trailer his ITR there. So he like washed the car and detailed it and stuff just so he can trailer it to the Honda American Collection Hall opening over at the Honda facility in Torrance. Should be a good time. I don't know why Chewie's bringing a ITR that's not even supposed to be here in America to Honda, but he's, he's gonna go return his purchase back to Honda. <laughs> but it's been a while since we've seen this car out. So it's kind of nice that he cleaned it up, you know. I move it around when we get back to the shop too, just so Dur has some more space to work on his EK. <laughs> okay, so we just picked up the car for the weekend or for tomorrow. Um, Angel was kind enough to give us a car that may or may not work at some point. Originally it was supposed to be his black EK9, but Angel realized that the car doesn't have headlights. <laughs> so that was not an option. So now we're stuck with the race car. Just gonna dump some uh, some cornmeal in there and then we'll be on our way. How oh, is it fast? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. How many horsepower? How many horsepower, Angel? Uh, I think it's like 400. <laughs> Same as the TL Type S right okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Same as this <laughs> one over here. Start the more rider. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's totally why. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when I go home later. I follow you. All right. Better. Okay. So. so everybody
everybody kept asking me all week uh, whether or not this event was going to be big or not because you know it's at honda and stuff but um i don't think anybody had any idea it was going to be this big this line is like wrapped around the building and it's a big building so this is just the line up by one of the entrances it's a a line as far as i can see down the street so i don't know when we're gonna get in everyone's just kind of outside of their cars right now but yeah i don't know by the time we get in the event's gonna be over <laughs> yeah they should have made it longer but dude the new moto compo thing is amazing i didn't realize it was that small It looks like he's just sitting on a tiny suitcase. Oh, this is amazing. I've never actually been inside this building before, but uh, this is the new collection hall now. Oh, let's see if I can show you guys the sign. Yeah, American Honda collection halls here now. Really need to use the toilet though, but I don't believe it's open to the public. Cool sign. Yeah, sign his face. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Very nice. Oh, this is the HPD section. All the race cars are here. Got the real time DC2. I've actually seen all these cars because I've been to the old collection hall. It's like a brand new layout display. <laughs> well, you already have like four of these. <laughs> you come here just to look at this? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like super, like maybe like 100 miles on it or something maybe. This one? Yeah, I think it might say. We looked at the cluster before because at the old collection hall, you like, used to be able to like sit inside of it and stuff. Damn, look at that MDX though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in the America they are competitions. Yeah, SSR comps. Yeah, they were sold at Tire Rack. They didn't call them Type C's though. This MDX, the. <laughs> I'm trying to get the transmission out of this MDX. <laughs> yeah. It'll, uh, the this is a, this car is put at a really bad angle for photos, but yeah. I've seen the privately owned one. It still looks pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. How many were there? Mm, two or three, maybe I think. <coughs> yeah, the other ones in the Midwest. They take it out to grid life and stuff. Yeah. I like how you can't even see the full caliper because the whole cover is like Damn, look at the ride height on this. Like, is this a race height? Yeah, dude. I mean, the tire is probably a little deflated. This, this is the only EM1 left in California that hasn't been stolen. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. Yeah, this spot is nice. It's actually way bigger than I thought it would be. It's Ryuji's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect timing for that alarm to go off. There's a random R33 police car here with the scatter shield on the hood and stuff. I feel like this person must uh, watch a lot of anime or something. I'm just saying. Really cool. Even in America, you can't get away from the police. <laughs> 
<laughs> Back to the trailer it goes. Back at the shop after the Honda event, so Dirk can get his car ready for the meet tomorrow. It's coming back together. Yeah. I'm not sure where one bolt goes. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. We've got to install the hood today. The hood finally came over here from Japan. It's a double vented type type T, right? Type. I, don't, I think it's a Type T hood, but it's like a, it's from the company that made all the J stuff back in the day. And they're also not around anymore. That's how long the hood's been sitting around in, in Japan. But making progress. Integra is still outside, so Dura has plenty of space to work on his car finally. Ryuji's inside on the phone. Yasu's here hanging out. It's a nice chill day. The GR is dirty, but I figured I should give you guys some updates on this since I didn't get any footage of it at Weekfest. But uh, recently we put on the Voltex carbon hood. That's probably the biggest addition. We actually have the whole kit. I think I showed you guys in the other footage. But we have the whole kit, but we're not putting that on yet because we got to cut the car up. So we have the Voltex hood on right now. And then we have a rear diffuser on now too, but the rear diffuser is so subtle that you can barely even see it. Shadow but all it does is collect rocks. It's a beautiful piece, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's not super aggressive and it's its rather small because it has to go with the body line of the car. And it kind of, it flows perfectly with this rear accent piece right here. So Nakajima did an amazing job. He, he tried to follow the lines as much as possible, even with the wide body kit. It's like, it makes the car so much wider, but still has very OEM body lines. So kind of excited to put that on eventually, maybe December during some downtime but right now it's actually my daily because since Yasu and Ryuji are here from Japan um, Yasu is using my TL Type S as a daily driver so he can go wherever he wants and I'll just drive this car which as it turns out after driving in a week it's not that bad it's a it's a lovely car and very simple the only thing is when it comes 5 30 in the morning I gotta leave the shop don't really want to drive stick but it is what it is. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yasu's clear coat. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Right here too. It's like the clear is dead right there. It's okay. Mine's like... My, my head kind of needs some buffing too. Because the sap for so long. I think so. Yeah. Coke, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. It's good, Hopefully it fits. Yeah, it fits is good. And so far, so. <laughs> I don't know how far up or down. Yeah, just keep it loose until we we'll try to close it. I actually, still have to. We have to put the mesh pieces on the Voltex hood still. Okay. Well, is it still super loose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn! Oh, look at that. It just looks like your old car. I never had this one on my other car. But with the carbon hood. Oh yeah! It's good. Some, some <laughs> gaps here and there. It's not bad. It lines up with the front well. A little too well. Yeah, you have a gap here, but then... It looks so different now. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this is pretty good. It's your fenders. Yeah, this car wash has been sitting here anyway, so I don't want to waste it. That looks good. Just need some clear coat. Yeah. 
I mean, I kind of expected that it wasn't going to fit very well anyway. Yeah. It looks like, like it's not even cut straight. No, it's not. It's Osaka, dude. What do you expect? <laughs> it's the Osaka special. The hood doesn't fit. Okay, lift doesn't fit. The theme of the car. Yeah. This match. <laughs> Give you a shower. Yeah. So these guys wanted to experience lowrider culture, so there just so happened to be a lowrider event today in the valley, and uh, why not check it out? Ryuji's in heaven now. This is just adding to the California experience for the Japanese guys. That's me doing side jobs because yeah. I had a shop. Mm -hmm. So it took me a year because when it comes to your own car, you don't make money, you lose money. Yeah. That's all you put in money. So I had <laughs> yeah. Of the he also owns a shop in Japan, oh, so he knows. Okay. <laughs> What's the name of the shop? Exceed. Okay. We deal with a lot of Honda stuff, like oh, Japanese Honda cars. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend, one of my guys just went to Japan. Oh. Yeah. They were big he, he told me, he told me you should go. I said, I You definitely go. should go, man. Yeah. 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 This is amazing. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's great work, man. Stays like yeah. yeah. Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, Instagram? Watch, follow my shop. You'll see. Yeah, so this guy owns the shop. A1A Garage. He built this car for his wife. And we were just studying the airbrush work. And it turns out a Japanese guy did it. This guy named Shinji. I guess he, his nickname is, uh, he goes by Poncho. But yeah, he did all this airbrush work. Dude, it's amazing work, man crazy being able to study different different pockets of car culture out here in LA everyone always complains about cost of living and how everything's expensive and there's a lot of traffic but we have everything in California man all you gotta do is drive 20 30 minutes you can find anything you want here Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go 
another reason why LA is great. Oh shit, <laughs> Bye guys. See you later. See you space. Man, Yas is gonna fall out of the damn window, dude. <laughs> like the equivalent of them taking us on the conjo. <laughs> What's up everybody? Today we are at the Chronicles meet, our little fall gathering since uh, Ryuji and Yasu are here from Japan. Decided to have a little get together on a Sunday afternoon and it's a, it's a pretty crazy event here. Got David here with his children. I think they're too they're too young to know what YouTube is. They don't watch YouTube. No, they're not. They want a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not in a long time. No. But yeah, we're, the meat's pretty crazy. We're just barely walking around now. That was. This is a guy shining his tires right here. Can you see it? He's getting his shit ready for the meat. But yeah, should be a good day. What is this? That's what I just said. What's going on here? Uh, I don't know, man. Wow, what two very contradictory vehicles. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, bro. It's, it's a car me, it's not Super GT. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on here? Oh, that's Devin from Race Studio. Remember the guy that laid out Angel's uh, thing? Uh, we pressed that's him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see him. Yeah, it's Devin. <laughs> yeah. Damn, this meet is way too crowded, dude. <laughs> So what is going on here? <laughs> Who organized this meet? Look at this DC2 here. Yeah, it's pretty low. That's probably why it doesn't have a front lip. That is a front lip. Yeah, man. Not only is that a front lip, that's an expensive front lip. Yeah. Is this Type Bartlett? No, it's a SIV. SIV Tech? Yeah. Nice little intake action here. And 15 inch CEs. It's a really good look. It's winter, bro. In California? It's the winter tires. These uh, Recaro Ultimate Edition seats. Top fuel dip. Yeah. They haven't, they haven't um, progressed like you have, David. Dang, this is <laughs> 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 oh, supercharged. Ooh, look, this uh, radiator is good. Whoa. Look at the awesome. valve cover. It's like a bass boat valve cover. What's wrong? It's like a fishing lure. I like that. Yeah. I used to have a spray paint though. Like that. Yeah, that's sick. You got this road track supercharged and everything. I like the top fuel lip. You never see those anymore. Ooh, it smells nice in here. Really? <laughs> smell it. Dang, what does it smell like? Back Cookies? <laughs> yeah, dude. It like you really are David's kids. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> you never like anything. Like <laughs> you don't like shit ever. It smells like yeah. Really, it smells okay. I was just saying that. I don't like it and it's What's your favorite food in the world, Brooklyn? <laughs> Hamburgers? Hamburgers are all right. <laughs> I like it, but I don't. I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. just Burgers, like well, it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Can't 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 mistake them. They're definitely David's kids. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
I guess the grass is greener runs in the blood. <laughs> Dude, look at this. It's a Millennium Jade. Damn. It's packed here. It's like whoever threw this meat knows what they're doing or something. It's crazy. <laughs> this is a... Uh, here comes the motorcycles. Oh. The ruckus people? Causing a ruckus? Oh, these aren't even ruckuses. Mui's in a sex. Danny, my homie Danny's a turbocharged NSX. You guys saw this car at the Advan pop up at Bowles. Actually, I didn't film that, so yeah, maybe it's your first time seeing it. But this is a turbocharged NSX R replica. Your buddy Dave decided to bring his DA out instead of his EK. It's the ultimate DA here. Rocking that tan interior, making it look good. Never one studying how poorly Durr's hood fits. Oh, whoa, 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 Just taking the Japanese guys around the Peterson so they can experience some um, automotive culture and history. This is a replica, but this is what an original Porsche Mun Coupe looked like. These are hand-shaped bodies that they used back then. They used these wood frames to hammer out the bodies, and this is how they shaped the whole cars back then. These are both replicas because both were just destroyed during wartime. But yeah, these are reproductions, and this is exactly what the wood frame used to look like. Here's a photo of it up here. Yeah, this is how Porsches were made back in the day. Pretty crazy that they just used used hammers and then just like shaped the metal along the way, and they were able to make this. And then 34 went to Belgium and had this body put on top of it. It is 19 feet long. The car weighs 7,000 pounds. Of course, features Dude. the round door. The windows open and close like that. So you can't have no windows <laughs> on a round door. Lean black grille, bullet shaped headlights, thing coming down the back. It also has a 110 horsepower straight six engine, so it can barely push itself up a hill. 110 horsepower? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have an idea? That's, that's the floor. So that's what the floor is. Oh, that oh. makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It does run and drive. We did drive it to Beverly Hills. Nice. Granted, it was five minutes away, but they shut down the roads for us. Dude, yeah, how much gas awesome. does it require? <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> For size reference. Luckily, um, it was brought out of the year before World War II actually was discovering a New Jersey junkyard in the 1950s. Um, we don't have the picture of <laughs> it anymore, junkyard? but it was white. It was discovered by a man by the name of Max Obie. He took the car out, painted it gold, <laughs> painted it gold, and then toured it around the country saying it was once owned by Keen Edward. It's never owned by Keen Edward. Yeah. People eventually found out, ran him out of town, he had to abandon the car. Car moves around a lot more before it ends up here at the museum. So, look at the way the windows roll down. It's red. It almost seems like the round door was an afterthought, and they're like, oh, what do we do now? Yeah. And 5,600 pounds, there's so little room in the back. How are you almost getting this car? I mean, I guess all the front. Yeah. <laughs> Is the size appropriate here, Peterson? <laughs> we are in downtown LA today. Me and Yogi over here. We are in downtown LA for 
the spoon event. They're unveiling the 25 hours of Thunder Hill Spoon Sports FL5 Civic Type R. Oops, sorry. And uh, yeah, we're here. They're doing a t-shirt drop, doing all the stuff here at Bowls. It's like the prime spot for automotive pop-ups these days. So as you can see, the FL5 is over here. I'll walk you guys over to it and give you guys a look at it. You're gonna be seeing a lot of it in the next few weeks anyways, because I'll probably be going to the 25 hours of Thunder Hill. So you're gonna get 25 hours of coverage on this car. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I've just glanced at it from afar, just taking pictures and stuff. But I'm gonna check it out. I trust that Aaron knows what he's doing and the car is gonna be amazing. And Yogi's gonna get some good photos of it at Thunder Hill because I am not gonna go on track. Whoa, look at the puppy. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're doing beauty shots right now, so... Okay, so now that's done. We can get a look at the new Spoon Sports USA FL5 Type R. It's got the prototype Spoon Sports front lip on there. And a custom front splitter. Spoon wheels. These are brand new Spoon Brembo brakes. I actually saw these get made like not too long ago. But yeah, it's all engraved now and stuff. Looks pretty good. The brand new livery, spoon prototype wing, the brand new Spoon Sports Sparco steering wheel, and Spoon Sports Sparco safety harnesses. So worked out a deal with Sparco to make some products for the car. The Motec display. It's got air jacks too. Full custom cage by Chris Eimer. Car's gonna go off to SEMA for a week and then off to Thunder Hill for the competition where Ichi will be coming and Tsuchiyo will be driving as well. First time ever in the US driving for Spoon, so it's pretty cool. So you can see the Tsuchiya sticker here. Pretty rad. But yeah, it's all a turnout. Everyone's lining up for merch. It's a good look. We're at the Yokohama Maxarito Dayosihara capsule drop. Got the Rito family here. Sam Dew's new GR Corolla with the Artists and the Spirits Wide Body Kit. Kazima. Everyone just having a good old time here. We had to bring the Japanese guys out here because we have to give them something to do to preoccupy their time. And then there's other Japanese people here now. So.